Imagine a future where you live a life filled with tranquility. Even amidst the most challenging moments, you wake up each day feeling empowered and ready to face whatever obstacles come your way. Now, let's make this vision a reality. As you watch this video, visualize yourself mastering the art of maintaining composure in stressful situations. Stoic philosophy teaches us that we have the power to shape our responses to life's difficulties. By embracing these potent yet simple stoic principles, you can cultivate resilience and inner peace, aligning with the beliefs of the Stoics. As the ancient philosopher Epictetus wisely said, it's not the events themselves, but our reactions to them that matter. Let's explore these steps, remembering that small changes today can lead to a more serene tomorrow. Above all, I want to express my gratitude for choosing this video. Thank you, thank you. 1. Cultivate self-awareness. Have you ever paused to truly listen to your own thoughts? It's fascinating to realize that a constant conversation is happening inside your head. Sometimes this internal dialogue is calm and other times it's like a whirlwind. Importantly, this inner dialogue shapes your emotions, decisions, and ultimately your life. Self-awareness is about tuning into this conversation, understanding why you feel what you feel and think what you think. This understanding is a game changer. Picture yourself as two people, the thinker, who experiences emotions, and the observer, intriguingly watching without judgment. This observer is your inner stoic. In tough spots, switch to being the observer. Watch your reactions without getting swept away by them. It's crucial to note that it's not about suppressing emotions, but understanding them without being controlled by them. Every time you feel a strong emotion, take a moment to pause and ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Getting to the root cause is essential. This reflection helps you respond, not just react. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This philosophy isn't about ignoring your emotions. It's about not letting them hijack your peace. Start with small daily annoyances. Observe your irritation, understand it, and then let it go. Gradually, you'll build the strength to apply this to bigger challenges. Remember, self-awareness is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And as it strengthens, so does your ability to remain calm and collected, no matter what life throws at you. 2. Foster resilience through adversity. Life is like an unpredictable game of dodgeball. Sometimes you catch the ball, and other times it hits you square in the face. Imagine spilling your morning coffee or getting drenched by a surprise downpour. Annoying, right? But what about the big league curveballs, losing your job, a heart-wrenching breakup, or failing at something you've given your all? In these gut punch moments, it's normal to feel knocked down. But what if we flip the script? What if we saw these challenges not as cruel jokes of fate, but as gritty personal trainers for our inner strength? Resilience isn't about sidestepping life's punches. It's about learning how to roll with them. Every hurdle you leap over, every knot you push past, is like a rep in the gym for your resilience muscles. This isn't about playing tough or shrugging off the pain. It's about staring down the barrel of your struggles and declaring they won't defeat you. Each challenge, no matter how bitter, comes with a hidden lesson. Got passed over for that job? Maybe it's a masterclass in determination, or a signpost to a path more in sync with your true calling. Relationship troubles? Perhaps it's a seminar in effective communication or self-discovery. Switch from, why is this happening to me? To what can I learn from this? This mindset doesn't just build fortitude. It cultivates wisdom, as Seneca wisely said, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Your trials aren't just hurdles. They're your most honest mentors. Revisit your own battle scars. Reflect on those moments. How did you pull through? What inner strengths did you unearth? Arm yourself with these insights for the next round when you face a new challenge. Replay your victories. This isn't a pep talk. It's a proven track record of your resilience. Remember, resilience isn't a birthright. It's a craft honed through the fires of adversity. Every challenge is your chance to level up this skill. By mastering self-awareness and resilience, you're not just weathering life's storms. You're learning to navigate them with finesse. These aren't just fancy theories. 
The down-to-earth, practical tactics you can start using today. As you do, you'll evolve into a wiser, stronger version of yourself, equipped to take on whatever life throws at you. 3. Embrace the power of perspective. Life often feels like a roller coaster, doesn't it? One moment you're up, the next you're down. In the midst of this chaos, it's easy to get caught up. However, you have a secret weapon at your disposal, your perspective. How you view what happens around you can transform your entire experience. Remember, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is the core of Stoicism. Now, imagine your mind is a mirror. It reflects everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. But here's the key point, the mirror doesn't have to react. It simply shows what's in front of it. Similarly, you can be like that mirror. When something stressful happens, take a step back, look at it as if you're just an observer, not getting tangled up in it. This detachment isn't about not caring. Rather, it's about maintaining your peace amidst the storm. Every day, you're faced with choices. How you respond to a rude comment, deal with a traffic jam or handle a work crisis. These moments are your opportunities to practice stoicism. You can't control what others do or what life throws at you, but you can control your reaction. This is where your true power lies. As Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Embrace this. Choose calm over chaos, understanding over anger. Let's start with a simple step. The next time something minor irritates you, pause. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, is getting upset worth my peace? Visualize yourself responding calmly and rationally. With practice, this approach becomes your go-to response, even in bigger challenges. Remember, changing your perspective isn't about denying your feelings. It's about managing them in a way that keeps you in control and at peace. This shift in perspective is a powerful tool in your stoic toolkit. Use it wisely and watch as your world transforms, not because the world itself has changed, but because you have. 4. Practice gratitude every day. Let's talk about gratitude. Practicing gratitude isn't about slapping a happy face sticker on every problem. It's about sifting through the mess and finding the glint of gold, that tiny thing that's going right even when the world seems topsy-turvy. Think about it. You're late, and the bus just zoomed past. Sure, it's a nuisance, but hey, now you've got a few unexpected moments under the open sky. Take a deep breath and enjoy it. Stained your favorite shirt? It's a bummer, but also a nudge to mix up your wardrobe. Maybe that shirt in the back of your closet is actually your next favorite. The trick is to start or end your day by pinpointing three small joys. A joke shared with a friend. The way the sun hits the buildings in the morning, an unexpectedly good sandwich. Whatever floats your boat. This isn't about ignoring life's challenges. It's about balancing the scales so you're not only weighed down by the tough stuff. Sure, when you're neck deep in a bad day, gratitude can seem like a distant fairy tale, but that's exactly when it's a game changer. Gridlocked in traffic? It's a solo concert in your car waiting to happen. Overwhelmed at work? You're in the forge, getting stronger and sharper. Remember what Epictetus said about wisdom, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not but rejoices for those which he has. Practice gratitude daily, sift through the challenges and find the glints of gold. This isn't about denying the difficulties. It's about acknowledging them and choosing to focus on the positive. Gratitude is a powerful practice that lightens your load and shifts your perspective. Use it consistently and you'll find that even in the midst of chaos, there's always something to be thankful for. 6. Develop compassion for yourself and others. Compassion is about understanding and kindness. It's recognizing that everyone, including yourself, is doing their best with what they have. It's easy to be hard on yourself or others when things go wrong, but what if, instead, you offered understanding? What if you treated yourself and others with the same kindness you'd show a good friend? Be kind to yourself. When you make a mistake, instead of beating yourself up, ask, what can I learn from this? Treat yourself with the same compassion you'd offer someone you care about. Remember, being kind to yourself isn't selfish. It's necessary. You can't pour from an empty cup. Keep in mind that everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Approach situations with understanding and kindness. 
As Marcus Aurelius said, be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Ultimately, compassion makes the world a better place. It starts with you and ripples out, improving your relationships, reducing stress and bringing a sense of peace. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it. In a world that often feels harsh and unkind, be a beacon of compassion and watch as it transforms not just your life, but also the lives of those around you. 7. Cultivate mindful moments. Have you ever noticed how often your mind is anywhere but here? You might be at work, but your thoughts are on the weekend, or you're with family, but your mind is at work. Being present, truly in the moment, is a powerful way to reduce stress and live more stoically. It's about fully engaging with the here and now, not lost in the past or worrying about the future. You don't need anything special to practice mindfulness. Start with your senses. What do you see, hear, smell, feel, and taste right now? Engaging your senses brings you back to the present. Try this when you eat a meal, take a walk, or even during a conversation, fully immerse yourself in the experience. When you're fully present, stress and worries fade away. You're not fretting about tomorrow or regretting yesterday. You're just here in this moment. This focus brings clarity and calmness, allowing you to handle situations with a level head and a clear mind. As Seneca said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Like anything, mindfulness takes practice. Try setting reminders throughout the day to pause and check in with yourself. Are you fully present? What are you thinking and feeling? This regular practice gradually shifts your default state to one of greater presence and calm. 8. Seek growth, not perfection. Perfection is a trap. It's an impossible standard that leads to stress and disappointment. Instead, focus on growth, on learning, improving, and moving forward. This doesn't mean you don't strive to do your best, but you do it with the understanding that perfection is not the goal. Progress is. Look for opportunities to grow every day. Maybe it's trying a new way to solve a problem at work or learning to cook a new dish. Growth can be found in the big challenges and the small ones. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing the unknown. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a win. Celebrate these moments. Finished a difficult task? Take a moment to appreciate your effort. Learned from a mistake? That's growth. Celebrate it. These small celebrations build a mindset of progress and resilience. Remember, growth is a journey, not a destination. There's always something new to learn, a way to improve. This journey is not about reaching a final state of perfection, but about continuously evolving and adapting. As you embrace this mindset, you'll find that stress and pressure decrease, replaced by a sense of ongoing accomplishment and fulfillment. 9. Nurture healthy relationships. Humans are social creatures, and our relationships with others significantly impact our well-being. But not all relationships are created equal. Healthy relationships, those built on mutual respect, understanding, and support, are vital. They provide comfort in stressful times and joy in good times. Focus on building strong, positive relationships. This means listening, really listening to others. It means showing empathy and understanding. It also means setting boundaries and respecting the boundaries of others. Healthy relationships are a two-way street. Be aware of toxic relationships, those that drain you, bring constant negativity, or disrespect your boundaries. These relationships can significantly increase stress and unhappiness. It's okay to distance yourself from them. Your well-being must come first. Like a garden, relationships need to be nurtured. Regular check-ins, quality time together, and showing appreciation are all important. Remember, it's not about the number of friends you have, but the quality of those relationships. A few close, healthy relationships are far more valuable than numerous superficial ones. 10. Embrace simplicity in life. Life can be complicated, but many of those complications are self-imposed. Embracing simplicity means focusing on what's truly important and letting go of the rest. It's about finding joy in the simple things. A walk in the park, a quiet moment with a book, a conversation with a friend. Start by decluttering. Not just your physical space, but your mental space too. What obligations, activities, or thoughts are not serving you? Let them go and focus on what adds value to your life. 
This simplification reduces stress and brings clarity to what's truly important. A simple, consistent routine can bring a sense of peace and stability. It doesn't have to be rigid, but having a general structure for your day can help keep stress at bay. It ensures that the important things work, rest, relationships get the attention they deserve. Simplicity is about finding contentment in the present moment. It's recognizing that you don't need more to be happy. You just need to appreciate what you have. This doesn't mean you don't strive for more, but you do so from a place of contentment, not a place of lacking. As you embrace simplicity, you'll find that life becomes more peaceful, more joyful, and surprisingly, more fulfilling. To sum up, embracing stoicism can provide valuable guidance for navigating challenging moments in your life. By applying stoic principles like simplicity, self-reliance, and mindfulness, you can cultivate a sense of calm, wisdom, and virtue in the face of stress and adversity. Remember, it may take time and effort, but stoicism is not about perfection. It's about continuous progress toward a more composed and fulfilling life. So why not start today and work towards mastering the art of stoicism in stressful situations? The text offers practical and insight for advice on cultivating self-awareness, fostering resilience, embracing perspective, practicing gratitude, developing compassion, cultivating mindfulness, seeking growth over perfection, nurturing healthy relationships, and embracing simplicity. It draws inspiration from Stoic philosophy, integrating its principles into actionable steps for daily living. The approach to self-awareness, resilience, and perspective is particularly commendable. The analogy of the mind as a mirror and the encouragement to detach oneself from situations to maintain inner peace resonates well. The emphasis on gratitude as a tool to find positivity in challenges is practical and applicable. The text successfully captures the essence of Stoic principles and translates them into actionable advice for a modern audience. It encourages a proactive and mindful approach to life, fostering personal development and resilience in the face of adversity. The concise and well-structured content makes it accessible for readers seeking practical wisdom.